Hey guys, Anthony here, Bibles and Barbells, Saturday, January 2nd, 2021. Um, today's video, quick video, out here, just uh, putting some stuff together, organizing some things. Of course, I'm always thinking about things coming down the, down the road. What I want to instill in people going into 2021, now that we're in 2021, you want to... Review everything that you have in place up to this point. All your preps, all your plans, all your gear, all of your, anything relating to your finances, anything relating to your um, staying ready for 2021 and whatever that brings. So begin doing that. You should have been doing it prior to 2021, but begin doing it now even more so that 2021 is upon us. Um, another thing we want to look at is keep tabs of what's going on, uh, not only around your community, your, your close proximity, but around the country and then, of course, around the world because there are things going on right now in the Middle East with the United States and Iran and China. You could see things are brewing and you could see how things are playing out, that there could very well be a kinetic war <clears throat> very shortly. Uh, another thing, keep tabs on local, you know, local and national news. Channels like Newsmax are just one example. Uh, I've shut Fox off now. I don't watch Fox anymore. Uh, not that I did a lot before, but now even more so. Um, get a lot of my sources from other uh, news sources a new source that's good for, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, boots on the ground that are things that are taking place up in the Portland, Seattle, uh, that area there, Washington, uh, Oregon, uh, things going on with Antifa, Black Lives Matter. You're going to look at somebody like Andy No, uh, NGOs, his last name. He's been tracking that and he keeps really good tabs on uh, what they're doing and things that they're planning, events they have going on. Um, you can find him on Twitter, Andy No N-G-O. He does a good job. In fact, a lot of his little video clips of these New Year's Eve and New Year's Day riots that have been going on up there, uh, he has on his uh, Twitter feed, so you can see that. And while I'm on that topic, and I've said this, Many times in my videos, uh, law enforcement around the country is more, they're in on this uh, scam, guys. Um, now, it doesn't mean every single boot on the ground, frontline officer <clears throat> is in on it, but from the brass down to certain levels of commanders, sergeants, if you will, lieutenants, uh, they're in on this scam uh, that's going on. And so you'll see this dance between you know, Antifa rioting or doing things and the police making believe they're pushing back and Antifa charges them and they go back and forth. So they got this narrative going and they got people scared out of their wits uh, on, um, on TV. And when they see these videos, oh my God, law enforcement can't contain these guys. What are we going to do? Uh, well, it'd be a really different story if 10,000 patriots met them on the street uh, we'd see a lot different story. We'd see it probably end in about five minutes, uh, but that uh, hasn't happened yet. So don't believe the narrative that law enforcement is, you know, they're trying to hold them back, but they can't do it. It's all bull crap. Um, these guys are doing a big dance and it's a big freaking game. If, if uh, you know, that's coming from me. You may not believe that, but it's coming from me. It's what I see. And um, it fits the narrative very well. Um, and so you'll, you're going to see more of that. Then, counter to that, when you see patriot groups rising up, you'll see the police pushing back really hard. Then you'll see the real hammer drop. It's similar to effect if when you see, um, you know, when Israel gets attacked or bombed by the Palestinians or whoever, um, you know, for a while nothing happens. Nobody says anything. No news agencies say anything. The UN doesn't get involved. But as soon as Israel fights back in a big way, they hit really hard. 
then all of a sudden all the people come out, whoa, wait a minute, we need peace and we got to negotiate and uh, we've got to, um, we've got to uh, you know, put an end to this. The UN needs to get involved. That's when you see real progress is when they finally stand up and hit back. And so you're going to see the same thing in this country moving forward. If it gets to the point where patriots hit back, whether it's locally, regionally, whatever, small skirmishes, then you'll see the police enforcing, uh, you'll see the laws coming down from the top or the orders coming down from the top telling them what to do. Right now they're doing a big frickin' dance with uh, these uh, communist insurgents that are in our country. So make no mistake about that, you're gonna see more of that uh, in 2021. And listen, the area I live in right now is relatively unaffected. That doesn't mean it's nothing's going on and it doesn't mean that I don't get ready for it. I don't travel if I don't have to too far from my base of operations. Uh, if I do have to, I go very well prepared. And if I think there's something that's going to go on or there's a trap that's going to be laid, uh, I either don't go or I go with um, a much better plan, a much bigger scope plan. I don't give a lot of my details on my channel, uh, things like how I train, what I could do. I have no military experience, but that's not uh, a bad thing either. Um, it doesn't mean that I'm not a, a fighter. It doesn't mean that I can't protect my family. And it doesn't mean that I can't do uh, great harm if I have to in defending uh, myself, my family, my country, my city, my town, my neighborhood, etc. And so if you don't see a lot of those type of how-to videos on my channel, um, it's for a reason. I don't like to give up my hand. Um, so again, we have a big event or a series of events coming up going into next week. Obviously, January 6th is a big date. Donald Trump is supposed to make this big announcement. There's supposed to be my neighbor started up his Harley. He has like three Harleys. If you hear that in the background. So Donald Trump is supposed to um, make this big announcement. What, what it's going to be, maybe he's not going to concede. But whatever it is, he's going to lay out the evidence of the fraud and the, and the trickery and the stealing of this last election. Um, whether he lays that out, uh, there's going to be lots of patriots in Washington, D.C. and the surrounding areas. So that alone can spark different things. We saw bombings recently. Obviously, I talked about them in my last video in Tennessee. Uh, that was a planned bombing. The guy that the FBI said did it was a patsy. Uh, that's what I believe. Uh, this, was, um, this was a military operation uh, done by, <clears throat> uh, done by um, well-organized uh, military power. Um, and so this dark winter that they're talking about, again, it's unfolding before our eyes. You could see it happening. The stock market, there's, there's talk and reverberations in the stock market. There's going to be some type of crisis this year when nobody knows, but it's getting close. <clears throat> the Fed is printing trillions of dollars, pumping up the system. Meanwhile, every week, there's seven, eight hundred, nine hundred thousand people on the unemployment rolls. There's 157,000 or so people that actually work in America, and there's literally probably 40 million that are not working right now. So there's not going to be any type of quick recovery, if there is any. It's going to be years uh, before a, any type of recovery comes. And then with that, factor in the Great Reset that they're talking about in the World Economic Forum, Agenda 21, Agenda, Agenda uh, 2030, um, you could see there's big plans for the future of resetting. They don't call the book the Great Reset for nothing. The Great Reset means lots of big changes in my book. And from what I read so far, there are a lot of big things coming. And what Klaus Schwab talks about in that book, uh, you heard over the years when you read that book, he talks about and reiterates a lot of things you hear our communist, socialist, Republican and Democrat leaders spew out of their devil, devilish mouths uh, over in years past. So it's nothing new under the sun, the Bible says. 
Uh, so their utopia that they're building, their new world order that they're building, their new beast system that they're building is going to make it very hard for a not only a patriot, but a believer in Yahweh uh, to operate because there are things coming down the road like mandatory vaccines, vaccine identification cards, vaccine app applications that you may have on your phone, things uh, where you may be shut out from the marketplace, from work, from traveling. You know, you've seen it out there. It's out there now. They're talking about it. Fauci even made a statement uh, just yesterday, I think, talking about this, you know, this mandatory vaccine that's coming down. And so the people that put this together, they have no, um, although they'll say it, that they have this love of life and they want everybody vaccinated to be healthy and to move on with this, uh, to get the new normal um, moving forward. Uh, these people are all eugenicists. They back pop, uh, depopulation rather than population growing and being healthy. So be careful where you put your uh, faith and trust in and who you put your faith and trust in. Because Yahweh will never fail you. His word will never fail you. His son Yeshua, HaMashiach, will never fail you no matter what you go through. But this beast system they're putting together will fail you. So lots of things to think about for believers in the new year. And uh, my channel's not called Bibles and Barbells uh, for nothing. It was, again, started out as a ministry, and it still is a ministry, even though I mix in a lot more different types of videos in my on my channel. Um, so... What we have to look forward to in 2021, again, I'll reiterate it in this video and all future videos, is to be hyper vigilant, to try to be a step ahead of what's going on, try to monitor what's going on locally, regionally, nationally, worldwide, what things that are going on, and, um, and stay ready uh, because at any moment, things can change instantaneously. We saw that in the Tennessee attack that, um, and what it did, it wiped out communications on a really wide area, a wide swath of territory in different states even, into including my state of uh, South Carolina. So um, we have to be aware of stuff like that can happen very quickly. Also, don't count out natural disasters because they are on the rise. If you follow um, earthquakes and volcanoes around the world, there are volcanoes coming to life like you've never seen before. I have a volcano earthquake app on my phone and uh, it's just loaded with stuff continually. And um, the not only the amount of earthquakes in the in the different regions around the world where they happen and they they've always happened now it's the ferocity the magnitudes are increasing and they're hitting harder 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 and faster same thing with volcanoes that were prior uh, formerly dormant are now spewing to life and so there are things happening the earth is is groaning the earth is rumbling yah is getting ready to speak and he's speaking very loudly and hopefully it's getting your attention things are not going to be rosy in 2021 you're going to have to be on your toes and you're going to have to be thinking even family members and i see it in my own family right now and i'll close with this even family members right now in my own family are coming against each other how a i have family members that either don't prep, haven't prepped, or they're just starting to finally wake up. And so those people can be a big detriment to you uh, in the event of a, an SHTF. Uh, they're not ready. They scoffed at you maybe. They laughed at you. They didn't take you seriously. And now all of a sudden they're trying to get on board or maybe they're even still in denial. 
Uh, so I see that in my own uh, family. <clears throat> I also see the beginnings of, well, I'm not coming here to this function or to, to this meeting or to this event uh, if I don't know everybody has the vaccine. So we're starting, I'm starting to hear that in my own family and I'm sure you may be as well. And you're going to hear it more and more. I'm not coming over. You can't come to my house. We can't have a wedding. We can't have a, a, a function uh, without everyone knowing that everyone in there has been vaccinated. So if you don't plan on taking the shot, the injection, the, um, the bug juice, I'll call it. Um, if you don't plan on taking that, then don't plan on getting together with family members that are going to require you have it in order for them to be in your presence. So you may have to just communicate with them via telephone, Zoom, you know, the different applications or from a distance. Hey, how you doing? Stay 50 feet apart because you don't have the vaccine. Uh, the vaccine is going to uh, cause a lot of the great reset to happen a lot faster. Um, a lot of sheep in the United States, a lot of sheep around the world. So be ready for that to begin to really explode as the weeks and months go into 2021. Um, and that's what I'll end this video with. So again, be hyper vigilant, know your surroundings, um, know what's coming, uh, read the word, be in the word, First and foremost, take your direction from heaven above and from the spirit that is within you, leading you, guiding you, and not leaving you as orphans, uh, Jesus said. I will not leave you as orphans. The Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKodesh, will guide you, lead you in all truth. Not some truth, in all truth. That's the truth about prepping, the truth about self-defense, the truth about loving others, the truth about helping others, the truth about knowing uh, what's evil and knowing what's not evil, the truth about knowing what's from him and what's not from him. All truth, it says in the word, will lead you in all truth. So be, be sensitive to that, those statements of truth that are in the Bible. Okay, I'll close it there. Be ready for war this year, both spiritually and possibly physically. Anthony signing off. Stay ready and blessings.